Your learning guides are a very important component of your learning within this course. To be smart about it, you carefully consider each question and answer it as if this is your own personal note package. That's what it is, your own personal learning guide. Yes, your learning guides will be checked by your teacher and will be used as part of your final grade, but the real value is how they'll help you organize your learning. For each question in your learning guides, ensure you have all your steps laid out and explained wherever possible. Make sure your work is neat and tidy and easy to follow and check that all units and directions are included. If you can't get a question, ensure you've tried all the examples in your lessons and then message your teacher for help. Once you've done your learning guide, submit it as a single file at the bottom of this page. So how do you submit it as one big file? Well, let's talk about some ideas. If you have a scanner, you can scan each page as a PDF and combine them all to be one big PDF file. And that works really well. If you have any difficulty with that, you can always scan it as multiple images but then you take those images and you paste them into a Word document, for instance. And if you don't have a scanner at all, well, you could always lay them down on the table in nice good light and take pictures with your phone. But again, you have to take those pictures and paste them into something like a Word document so that they can be submitted as one file with all the pages in order. If you're dropping in to chat with your teacher regularly, you can always bring your learning guide in with you. The only difficulty with that idea is that it's more difficult to give you your original back quickly. If you scan it, you always keep your original. So that's the advantage to that. Again, if you're scanning, I don't want a big pile of separate files. You need to combine your scans into a single document. So you're submitting it as one file. 